Welcome into our CBS 58 studios. I'm Jessa Breisbeck and this is your CBS 58 quick cast. We start with a sad end to the search for three people swept into a drainage tunnel Monday night. Today, the bodies of the two men who went in to save the 10 year old boy were finally found. Our Victor Jacobo has followed this story from the beginning. That's right, Jessa. This search effort began Monday evening when three people were swept away by water into a drainage tunnel near 27th and Loomis. The body of a 10 year old boy was discovered on Tuesday afternoon. The bodies of two men who tried to save him, including the boy's father and a neighbor, were found and recovered in the Connecticut River Thursday morning. All three were members of the Rohingya community. Autopsies are scheduled for Friday. Victor, thank you. Another search is actually underway right now on Silver Lake in Kenosha County. Authorities rescued a five-year-old girl wearing a life jacket, but a 22-year-old man not wearing a jacket went under the water and didn't come back up. Divers will continue to search until dark. A devastating news out of West Dallas where a young boy was killed in a car crash last night. Four-year-old Alexis Calles Gonzalez was in a car with his mom and aunt when police say a speeding car slammed into the back of them. The driver was arrested for OWI. The mom and aunt are still in the hospital. A lot of people still cleaning up after a stormy Wednesday night and those storms hitting Sheboygan really hard. Our Taj Mahal with the damage left behind. Thanks, Jessa. But as you can see, the damage is pretty widespread here in Sheboygan. You can see trees have been completely uprooted from the ground in many parts of the area. We're also hearing reports of trees falling on homes and cars, and neighbors in the area are spending the day picking up. The Sheboygan Fire Department is telling people to avoid driving around the area as much of this mess continues to be cleaned up. Back to you, Jessup. All right, Tajma, thank you. Well, if there is a silver lining with these storms, well, it's that it helped some of this humidity move out of our area. Rebecca Schold, welcome to the Quick Cast, your first one making your uh, initial appearance. Welcome, what's going on? Thanks so much, glad to be here. I am providing a really nice forecast, so that helps ease into it as well. Still breezy, but that wind will ease up tonight as temperatures go from the 80s to the 70s and eventually the 60s. A warm summery day for your Friday. Temperatures still right around 80 degrees, but notice that dew point level, very comfortable in the mid 50s and spoiler alert those comfortable temperatures will continue right through the father's day weekend before the heat is on into next week just back to you with a forecast like that rebecca you can stop by anytime thank you the summer meals program kicking off an ambitious campaign today mps and other community partners plan to give out three meals a day across 115 sites in milwaukee county about 600,000 kids take advantage of the program each year uh, dozens of new sculptures will soon go up in downtown Milwaukee, all part of Sculpture Milwaukee's new exhibit, Nature Doesn't Know About Us. We have more details on our website, cbs58.com. Well, it took a little longer than he and the team would have liked, but Craig Council is now the Brewers' all-time leader in wins as a manager. The Brewers close out their three-game series with the Mets in New York tonight. And tonight on the CBS 58 News at 9 and 10, we take you to New Berlin for our latest stop on our 58 hometowns tour and the steamy work that some people have to do and deal with in this hot weather. We will see you tonight, but for now, that is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. I'm Jessa Breisbeck. Thanks so much for watching.